Hi sixth graders, it's time for another backyard science lesson, only this time I'm not in my backyard. Check it out. So today's lesson, I am on Nantaska Beach, which is in Hull, Massachusetts. Um, this is actually the town that my parents live in. And I am on the beach because we've been talking about plastic. So I'm going to show you this seaweed line. You can see that there's one there. It goes pretty far down the beach. So all of this is seaweed that has washed up um, during high tides. So the tide is low right now. You can tell because of the distance between where the water is and this rock line. So now the tide is coming in. Um, wondering if you know what actually controls the tides. So stay tuned to find out about that. Um, but in a big storm, when there's a wave surge, the tide will come up as high as this rack line. And depending on how big the storm is, you can see that there's actually a higher rack line up here. Okay. So you can see it's almost up to the dune. So all this grass along here is part of the dune which protects the houses along the beach. And in this rack line is what I want to show you. Recognize this. And this. How about this? Okay, so all the plastic that ends up in the ocean gets brought in by the waves and ends up on the beach. So I'm gonna do a real quick beach cleanup and then I'll be back to show you what I found. Okay friends, it's been about five minutes and I just walked this area here maybe 25, 30 yards, so not even half of a football field. And I wanna show you what I found. Okay. So in that short span of time and in that short distance, multiple straws, many of which you can recognize the company, right? Duncan. Um, this is like a fruit bag. You might get some mandarin oranges or something in a bag like that. Um, tons of rope. Okay, all of this rope is from the fishing industry. Fishermen go out and their line, uh, you know, their lines get tangled and they have to just cut them and instead of cutting them and putting them into the trash on the boat, they just throw them back into the water. Um, check this out. You recognize what this is? A spray bottle lid. Tons of bottle caps. Pieces from red plastic solo type cups. More types of plastic lids. Um, a couple of these. I don't really know what they're from. Um, this is interesting, this white piece of plastic here. The writing on it is actually French, um, so I'm wondering if this piece actually traveled down from Canada, where parts of Canada they speak French. Um, just lots, a little top of a bottle, lots and lots of pieces right here in your semi backyard okay so this problem is not far away this problem is right here where we are and it's really gonna take us using less plastic companies manufacturing things in a more sustainable way um, to get it to stop and for now as individuals as sixth graders you know you've made the one commitment to do something and encourage someone else in your home or a friend to do the same because 
if I can find this much plastic in a very small area of space, just imagine what else is out there. Okay? It's up to us. See you soon.